the trilogy uh, continues, I'm going to uh, go into uh, Radnor Street uh, Cemetery once again. had some like partial joy I suppose on the internet where I did do some more research and um, his grey stone should be fairly, fairly easy to find. Um, it's a white one, so we know what we're looking for. Now, uh, the research which I've done is fairly basic uh, regarding this young 17-year-old boy who, uh, who unfortunately gave his life. It looks like they might be scattered around. So I've pretty much done the whole of this side here. to be focusing more I think on probably you know the the south side as it were uh, of the cemetery perhaps I've still got one or two which I need to go and uh, have a closer look at but we're just coming up to obviously you've got the chapel here I just want to see if my flowers I left here a week ago are still here um, along with uh, the things which I left so that's really good, that's, that's respect. I'm glad to see that people have got respect. They've left them there. You know, somebody hasn't come along and taken them, uh, you know, for themselves or whatever. Uh, yeah, that's when, uh, when, when boys became men back then. They had to grow up uh, rather sharpish and um, really kind of um, grow a pair, as it were, using uh, the modern day vernacular. Um, I've just seen another headstone which, um, which I'm going to investigate um, you know and, and I, I've tried to do some uh, some research and oh, no that's not him I tried to do some research on uh, on ancestry.com and there's a few other websites you can go on to get information um, but they do want you to pay I know it's not a huge amount of money but is something like eight or nine pounds to access the information uh, what more information I can actually glean I'm not entirely sure um, but it would be interesting to know a bit more about this young man you know what kind of made him tick really what his uh, likes were but I don't suppose I'll find that out on any kind of a website right I'm gonna carry on and uh, look further into uh, into the cemetery but I know what I'm looking for because I've seen it on the internet and um, if it's in here then I'm sure as heck I'm gonna find it A. L. Westlake A. L. Westlake Audrey Seaman Reserve, HMS St. Victory, 7th of October 1918. We loved him well, we miss him much, but God knows what is best. Age 17 years of age. God bless this young man.
found it. I found it. You know, our governments at the stroke of a pen, you know, have the will literally to send these people to death. You know, and uh, that's pretty much what happened in the First World War. You know, we all know what happened on there. Well, some of us who know our history about about that, you know, the stroke of the pen can really condemn many hundreds of thousands of people, you know, to death, fighting for a cause. But uh, incredible, incredible sacrifice from a, a boy who was only 17 years of age. Alfred Longhurst Westlake, thank you, sir, for what you've done. Uh, you played your part in a very major way. Uh, lest we forget, we will never forget the sacrifice which you made and the other 102 people in this, in this cemetery who did the same thing. Right, okay, so um, mission accomplished, mission accomplished. Uh, took me a while to find, three attempts pretty much. I didn't think it would be that difficult to find that, but um, I'm very glad to see that, um, you know, there's a lot of respect that's gone in for those fallen soldiers of ours who have paid the ultimate price. Uh, their graves are very well looked after, uh, which is a um, lot more than, than can be said for <laughs> a majority of graves which are out there. Anyway, I'm going to go down to uh, down to the town now. I'm going to um, uh, grab myself a, a bite to eat. Uh, it's getting somewhere near uh, lunchtime right now, and uh, I'm going to grab myself a coffee, I think, and uh, perhaps a sausage roll or something. Right, with uh, coffee in hand and sausage rolls in pocket, um, I can now make my way back to the car and uh, go back home now and sit down and make some kind of a video. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting trilogy, hasn't it? Uh, but it's been a worthwhile one. I've, I'm really glad that um, I've gone out of my way, I suppose, you know, to, to make this a highlight. Uh, the importance uh, of this uh, young young gentleman's life. Literally, um, it was kind of boys to men, you know, back then, you know, the boys had to grow up very, very fast and to be facing an enemy which uh, wants to kill you. Uh, that's a bit of a wake up call, isn't it? Uh, but these days we got men being boys. Literally, some men just haven't grown up yet. But, um, yeah, it's uh, goodness knows what these young men who've died, you know, for these this generation and you know other generations would make of the world at the moment. They would probably say to themselves, you know, was it worth it? Was it worth me giving my life up? You know, uh, for the state of the world which we find ourselves in at the moment, the state of people. There we go, but lest we forget for those people who have fallen and given the ultimate sacrifice. Here's to them. God bless them all. <laughs>